been on the road before to start a series. You know, our first year together, we had to start in Chicago. So, um, something uh, we've done before. Uh, but this year, is, you know, every season is different. You can't base what we did year one. On this year, you go out there and uh, it's just trying to take care of business to start with one. LeBron, was there a sense from the get-go that it just looked like it was inevitable it was going to be you against the Pacers the way things were setting up all season? Well, you don't know. I mean, you um, play the game and uh, you let the game you know, take its course. And uh, you know, that's what it is today. Um, it's number one and number two seed in Eastern Conference. And, uh, and both teams are going to be prepared to you know, make it to the finals. How much did you go to school on the last two weeks? playoff seasons or is it that every year is its own journey and that you can't really go back and look and see what happened and base it on that? Well, I mean, you know, every year is its own journey for sure, but you can use past experience to help. Um, but at the same time, you know, once the game begins, you have to, you know, attack that game as well. That's not my concern. I don't make of anything. I know they're going to be ready for us. Hey, LeBron, in the past couple of years, these series have been so tight. You guys have, like, traded losses. Why has it been so competitive? What about the matchup? You know, really? Two best teams in each conference. It's that simple. I mean, both teams defend at a high level. Both teams share the ball. Both teams get into the paint. And, uh, both teams have a, a desire to win. So that's why it's been easy. When they were struggling, when they almost lost to Atlanta and came back, was there ever any thought that you thought, OK, they might be done, they might not get here, or you just know based on who they are? No, it was never my concern. Okay. I watched the game as a fan, and, and I was a, you know, as a fan, you're excited to see what type of how the series we played out. But I really didn't get involved in who we would match up. But we had to take care of our own business, and I never worried about anybody else. What do you, what do you think about the Pacers' struggles at home during the playoffs? Does that surprise you? Um, it's not. I don't believe that the, the Pacers' struggles at home will be the team that we play on Sunday. I know you've been asked about the rivalry between the two teams. What's your assessment of the state of the rivalry? Uh, two very good teams. Two teams that have some of the same aspirations. That's the, the host of the, the, I mean, the, um, you know, the championship trophy. Up. And um, you know, both teams have worked their habits all year to get to this point. And uh, you know, both teams are trying to put their team in a position to succeed. And that's what it's about. What, what is it about the Pacers that particularly represents the team? I mean, it's not just the Pacers. I mean, obviously, we were, we're the last two teams standing in the Eastern Conference, but, you know, Brooklyn was a threat for us. If we didn't approach the game the right way, Charlotte was a threat for us. You know, Indiana's our next opponent. They oppose the threat because they are our opponent, and they can beat you if you don't go out there and, and approach the game the right way. So, you know, it's a challenge. It's going to be a tough challenge for us, a huge challenge for us. Uh, you know, matching up with them, but you know, there's nothing else. You know, we shouldn't be excited about it. Well, given that you Wade missed so many games this season and you didn't win the MVP, do you think that your season in some ways has been underappreciated? Um, that doesn't matter. I don't, I don't really base, you know, so my season be underappreciated. I know what I mean to our team. That's all that matters. How you guys better the rest of the week than the I give the same answer when I'm asked the same question. It is what it is. We got the extra couple days, we take it. If not, we're ready to play. Do you feel like they're a stronger team this year because they took the seven last year and lost? Um, I don't know. We've we only played them four times. You know, this is the postseason. Is, you know, we're teams you know, usually get stronger, so we have a seven game series with them. So we're six. Is it kind of was there, was there any doubt, I mean, even though they went through all those ups and downs, you guys sort of struggled at the end of the season, was there any doubt that this was going to be a problem? I mean, throughout the regular season, you felt like, uh, you know, we were the two best teams in Eastern Conference. And even though we both had our struggles, you felt like you know, we were the two best teams and if we all both took, both sides took care of business, then we would see each other. I told Frank Vogel that during the All-Star. He was the head coach. I said, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing you in May. You know, so, uh, you know, both teams took care of business. Did you have four straight conference finals? Nah, probably won't hit me until I'm done playing. What were your impressions of Paul George during the playoffs last year? My impressions? Um, I think he's a very good player. You know, he played some great basketball last year in the postseason and in the East Conference Finals. He's been playing some very good ball now. And, uh, you know, he's a, a guy that you have to account for on the floor at all times. Having, having four games potentially on their court versus your court, a little bit new for you guys, at least lately. How different is that? You gotta win on the road to win the series anyways. You know, last year we had home court and they beat us in game two. So, you know, so we had to go to Indy and win. 
know, our first year here, our Beach Conference Finals, we started off in Chicago and we had to win a game up there. You know, at the end of the day, you know, teams that want to win a championship got to do it the hard way. And you got to win on the road. And, uh, you know, we had home court last year in the finals and lost game one. And, you know, it's something that's different for us because we're going on the road to start, but it's not different in the fact that we got to win on the road. It's the biggest thing for you guys going against them, turnovers, limiting your own turnovers. That's the biggest thing for us no matter who our opponent is. We turn the ball over, we're not very good. We've done a great job in this postseason and not turn the ball over. Why have you guys done so much better than the We value our possession in the postseason. I think having everybody in the lineup has helped us. We have a chemistry and we have that camaraderie on the floor, which we didn't have in the regular season because so many guys are in and out. Uh, so many different lineups. Um, you know, we've either had either Shane or we've had UD in the same line in the postseason. And it's helped us out a lot. I feel like you guys were pretty, pretty good as far as turnovers against them during the season. I think you only had one game where they were alive. Uh, well, obviously, regular season means nothing in the postseason. So we don't, we don't determine what we did in the regular season versus this team. And, uh, you know, taking it for account, we get what we need to do on Sunday. Totally different season. Postseason and regular season is totally different. What kind of impact does UD have in a matchup against this team? I mean, he's, he's a tough rebounder. He defends at a high level, and he's, and he's, uh, he's tough-minded. He's got his one or three championships. He knows what it takes to win. And uh, he's going to give everything, blood, sweat, and tears to our team um, to help us win. And, uh, and we love that. Do you expect to see him in the starting lineup? Yep.